Now, the big question is how do you make a decision on which theme to implement? It is important to approach this question scientifically. The reason is that in all likelihood, you will have multiple stakeholders who have to be pleased with the LMS theme. The theme has a significant influence on the user experience of the site and can contribute greatly to LMS adoption. It is also a black hole for efforts and if you are not careful, can suck in too much of your time and efforts. Here are some guidelines on how to go about selecting a theme. First thing will be to manage expectations carefully with the stakeholders, including yourself. You may not get an exact match in the free themes and you will not get dedicated support. On the other hand, fully custom theme will incur costs and getting approvals and time to develop, test, install and maintain. Is your LMS internal to the institute or will it be on the internet? If it is internal, perhaps simple branding with a logo and company colors might just suffice. Of course, you need not compromise with a nice navigation, etc. Budget. Better for you to establish this upfront both for one-time implementation and multi-year maintenance. Support. Whether technical skills are available in-house for customization and maintenance. So, these are the key questions you should be considering while shopping for themes. In this last slide, let's see how to go about actually selecting a theme. The objective of this exercise is to shortlist some themes to make a final decision. You should have first studied your functional requirements and then match if a theme covers it or at least comes close to your functional requirements. Sometimes you will like a theme, but it will not be available for the Moodle version that you are running. At the time of recording this lesson, it has been just 8 days since Moodle 3.0 has been released and so most of the popular free themes are not yet ported for Moodle 3.0 and their official release is for version 2.9 or so. In fact, you might try an older theme version and it might run on your latest Moodle but it will be totally unsupported. Be very cautious about this. Check for the theme's popularity and likes. If more people are downloading it and registering their usage happily, then it means more and more of these themes issues and wrinkles have been already resolved. And if any more are found, it is more likely for you to find a solution. More usage usually means lesser risk. Then, Check Moodle's discussion boards for the theme you are researching and see positive and negative feedback both from users. Finally, search on the internet for sites already using this theme and for general tips and pitfalls for this theme. All of this should help you to shortlist some themes and then make a final decision on which theme to implement. I will end this lesson by saying that all of these are guidelines to help you make a decision. You should do your own due diligence and use your wise judgment over and beyond all of this to select the best theme possible for your purposes.